Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Now I had no intention of making another video today after all, it is quite late. In fact, it is about 1 a.m. But just before bed, I noticed a very interesting thread happening on Kabam forums uh, with a poll and all of the stuff. And it surrounds one of my personal favorite champions ever, Quake. Now, if you're newer to MCOC, you probably won't even really know that Quake used to absolutely dominate the entire game. She was pretty much the best champion for any tricky questing situation, Alliance War, people used her in Alliance Quest, people were bringing in 4-star Quake when maxed out 5-stars were already a thing, and Quake effectively just kind of destroyed the contest to the point where Kabam had to very consciously design champions and nodes and pieces of content just to counter Quake. Now, in a lot of these cases, they kind of work themselves into just as much trouble and grief from the community, but also, you know, committed quite a few missteps. My personal favorite bit was when they released Kitty Pride as a champion, and uh, around that time, they added true focus to all of the mini boss fights in Alliance War, and that was done entirely so they could stop Quake, because otherwise, Quake just ate everybody for lunch. And then what happened is, uh, because every champion bypassed Miss, Kitty Pride just had an infinite level 3 cheese, and they had to kind of like walk that back. But the point is, Quake is an absolute monster. And there's a very good reason why there is no 6-star Quake, let alone a 7-star Quake. And recently, more and more traction has been given to the idea of that changing Quake, nerfing her, making her more manageable, and then having her released as a six or seven star potentially and this is what kabam mike said uh, in one of his posts and there's going to be another so for the record this is what we had initially thought of for quake concussion changed to physical vulnerability and cannot evade if her personal physical vulnerability is not active on the opponent the goal was to take her down from where she is now absolutely broken down to god tier but like i said we chose instead not to go with any change and leave them as five stars and this type of solution was significantly less attractive a couple of years ago. When 6 star and 3s were still the pinnacle of the game, right? Then you could generally outweigh the benefits for the game because you were still using Quake, even though it took some slightly longer than, you know, the modern day champions. And you still had all the brokenness. Now, you know, ever since then, my personal view of this situation definitely has changed as well. Because let's face it, when is the last time you used quake and typically there are quite a few reasons why i absolutely hate when kabam tunes down the champions because i do feel like it's often disrespecting the effort money and resources that people have invested not only acquiring the champion but also ranking the champion up also you know when you change a champion uh, retroactively especially as broken one is quake you also take away the opportunity for the newer players to use that Quake uh, or that said champion for the same piece of content that you did and potentially go through them significantly easier. Now, however, uh, that I, in my opinion, appropriate amount of time has passed, I think, well, I'll just flat out and uh, come out and say it. I think, you know, we should all be in favor for Kabam adjusting Quake, leaving her very powerful, not completely broken, you know allowing her still plenty of usability and having to really and letting her come to the game at six or seven star so here is kind of like continuation of kabam max to be fair i don't even agree with your point of view necessarily i think that it would be much better for players to have small adjustments made to the quake so that we can release her but i have been through enough of these situations to know that my mental health is better off by not making any changes at this time this change is pretty small, but it would allow the game team to actually be able to counter Quake in certain content and allows players to start using her again. In my opinion, it just makes sense, but I made it clear to the team that unless we have majority of the players saying that we are open to the change, then Quake stays as a 5-star forever. And I completely agree with Kamama here. And I do think that we are at a point where the majority of the players <clears throat> would accept that change. And you know, it wouldn't necessarily be as a proof, but as a very good indicator, I am definitely at a point where I would be perfectly fine with Quake getting changed, but having released her as a 6 or 7 star. 
And again, it comes for quite a few reasons. Number one, I just missed using quick. And realistically, I'm not going to use a five star champion anywhere if we have six and seven stars. So it would just be kind of like reluctant acceptance either way, just so I get to use the champion that I like so much ever again. Um, number two, as I mentioned before, I think typically I am very harshly against champion changes because it kind of disrespects the time, resources, and everything else that uh, we have invested in acquiring these champions. But in this case, again, I do think that number one, sufficient amount of time has passed where no active player has spent any relevant amount of time or effort to acquire her recently. And when it comes to the rank of materials, even if you hate Quake after the changes, right, realistically, you're probably not using Quake right now because new players will likely not have taken the time to learn how to use her, not to mention the fact that they get six and seven star champions significantly earlier in the game. And let's face it, the game has changed drastically to the point where for majority of the content, you don't really need Quake. And when it comes again to the existing resource investment, well, she's a five star. Like how, like how much resources have you invested? Two tier five basics and some tier two alphas? That's nothing in today's economy. So the current, if it would be a six or a seven star champion where we're talking about tier six class catalysts or tier four alphas or tier six basics, tier three alphas, those are relevant resources, right? But anymore, tier 5 basics, tier 2 alphas, they're literally expiring to a to lot of top end players. So even if Kabam changed Quake to the point where you think she's useless now, it's not like you're going to be losing on those catalysts. And it's not like you haven't gotten back your you know, investment worth at this point in the game. And therefore, overall, like, yeah, I, I think uh, it would be by far the better solution because Kabam has made themselves quite clear. Stays at a five star unless they change it. If she stays as a five star, she's effectively dead to the game. New players are not picking her up because none of the old players are using her. None of the you know new content is being showcased with her. None of the new players are learning how to use her. And there's no real need when you can get champions that you know have plenty of power to get through the content. Back in the day it wasn't like that. Back in the day, there were like three options for a fighter, two options. It's Quake and something. Now we're not there. Now we always have more options and we have plenty of other powerful champions. And again, to be clear, I do think that Quake is absolutely broken. I do think that if Kabam released Quake as she is right now as a seven star, it would absolutely not be good for the game. On a personal level, yes, of course, I would like a seven star Quake. I would probably sell my kidney to get her. Uh, well, maybe not that badly, but still, I would really like seven star Quake and I'd use her everywhere. I love that champion and she, I think she would be insanely OP. In fact, I'm sure she would be insanely OP, which is why I'm going to say that it would not be for the good of the game. Content that's getting released would probably be less enjoyable because she would exist as a seven star. The game modes would be less enjoyable. Alliance board would drastically change, Balagons would drastically change. A lot of things would happen in the game if she came out as a seven star. Besides, that's all theoretical because Kabam has already flat out said they will not release her as a six or seven star in her current form. So yeah, change her up, allow her to still be very, very good. And that is the key condition there. Turn her into the champion that is in the metagame, that people will still use, that, you know, still holds a considerable amount of power in the game. Not necessarily as much as she has right now, of course, but still, like, you know, don't turn her into, like, a mediocre champion. If she's still a good, a great champion, yeah, change her up and let us, you know, play with Quake again, because I do believe that that is much better alternative than effectively never using Quake again. And I don't think that there's any player at this point that would really, or there's hardly any players at this point that uh, would get hurt by Quake's change in short term, like even right now, because I don't believe that there are many newer players that are clearing content right now relying on Quake. 
And I do think that pretty much everybody would be better off in the long term if we had Quake as a six or seven star champion. Let me know what you guys think about this and uh, definitely an interesting kind of debate. And one of those where I will definitely say that at this point, I certainly agree with Kebab Mike and I understand where he's coming from because uh, taking this change lightly obviously could potentially spark community outrage. In fact, if had they nerfed Quake a year or two ago, there would definitely be like a very different conversation. But since the game has moved so far away from Quake, when there has been a very long time that nobody's been using her because she's only as a five star, and you know we're never gonna use her again because the power level is just gonna keep up on the champions, I think it's time. I th I think we as a community can be mature enough to say, it's like, yep, make adjustments. We can agree that she's way too busted uh, for the game balance, and even if we don't, most people will still agree. And having a six or seven star quake that's slightly less powerful in her abilities, but actually at a usable star level. Anyways, that's what I think, and uh, I definitely would love a six or seven star quake, even if she's not as powerful as she once was. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'm gonna catch you guys soon. Bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about.